Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca Franks and I'm an engineer on the developer relations team. Does your app look super static and you want to learn how to make it super fancy, super fast in Compose? Let's learn how to add some movement to our apps in a few minutes. Okay, let's go. If you're hiding and showing content on screen, just like we are doing here in the Jet Chats app, you can see that the timestamp is visible and invisible on click. You might not like how jarring this looks to your users. Instant changes in UI states are painful to experience. So let's make this better. Taking a look at how the text is shown on screen, we can see that it is using just a simple if statement to show or hide the timestamp. All we need to do to improve this is to wrap our changing visible states in an animated visibility composable, and this will magically transform how state changes are shown on screen. Let's take a look. That looks way better, don't you agree? Animated Visibility also has a range of different customization options that I recommend reading about in the docs. Next up, this Now in Android screen is showing more text on click of the item card. But the size change looks very static and doesn't transition smoothly between the two states. Taking a look at the code that powers this, we can see that we toggle the expanded state on click of the text by changing the max lines that will be drawn on screen. We can easily fix this jumping state with a built-in modifier. Simply add animate content size to your modifier chain to get an instantly smooth change. And this looks a lot better already. The change in sizes is way smoother. But what if we wanted it to be a little bit more playful, maybe with a little bit more bounce? Having a look at the code again, we can change the animate content size modifier to take in an animation spec. Most animation APIs offer the ability to set an animation spec that we can use to define how the animation happens. In this case, if we're using a spring spec and setting the stiffness to low and adding a slight amount of bounce, we can see that our UI will now look a little bit more playful with this added bounce. Ready for another one? In Crane, the content underneath the Fly, Sleep, and Eat tabs is switching between completely different composables without any smooth transitions between the content. These changes could definitely do with a little bit more magic. Taking a look at the code that decides what section to show in the purple area, we can see that there is a conditional used to determine which composable to display in that section. Using a when with different composables is a sign that you can probably use animated content to animate between these different composables. So let's wrap this conditional in animated content composable, providing the target state that will be transitioned to. Using the target state inside the animated content composable, we can then switch our content based on that target type. Instantly, our transitions between the different composables is now fading and scaling between each other which looks a lot better than before. But we can make this even more interesting. OK, so back to the code. By changing the transition spec on animated content, we can customize how the new composable coming on screen will enter the screen and how the old composable will exit the screen. In this example, we are using slide into container to slide the content towards an upward direction and slide out of the container in a downwards direction. We have also customized the animation spec to set a custom duration and easing function. So let's take another look at what this looks like. How does that look? Our new content slides in from the bottom of the screen, and the old composable slides out from the bottom. Of course, this is customizable. Check out the different enter and exit transitions available to you in the docs. All right, on to our next animation example. We have the progress bar in the Jet Server app. And when you navigate between the different pages of your app, the progress bar shows your progress remaining of the whole survey. At the moment, though, this looks pretty bland. Taking a look at the code, we can see that the progress calculation is using state information to determine how far along in the survey you are. In this example, as a user progresses along the survey, the question index will increase. We can switch this variable to use one of the animate as state functions. In this case, we are using animate float as state. These functions automatically perform the animation when the state of your input variable changes. So by passing this animated progress to our linear progress indicator, we will see the progress animates between the first state it was passed and the second state that it is using. It is worth noting that we've used the value on a specific composable parameter, 
but we could also use the animated progress to change a value anywhere in the composable, such as a modifier's parameters. So let's take a look at the small change in action. Now the progress bar animates between the different survey pages and looks much neater. Now say we wanted to animate something repeatedly, like this custom rainbow border. We would like the colors to rotate around the outline of the image. In order to draw this, we have an image composable with modifier.drawBehind that draws the rainbow gradient brush. This circle is what we will be animating. Now to animate the changes, first we create an infinite transition using remember infinite transition. And we define a single float rotation animation that we want to animate from 0 to 360 degrees. We supply it with an infinite repeatable animation spec that is going to animate between these two values in 1,000 milliseconds. So we've defined all the variables, but we aren't using the rotation animation variable anywhere. All we need to do to animate this now is to use the rotation animation value and call rotate in our draw behind function. This will rotate everything that we are drawing on screen. Compose takes care of updating the rotation animation variable for us and will automatically trigger a redraw as the variables change over time, creating the animation on screen. Now take a look at that rotating rainbow gradient. Adding a simple rotation animation makes the profile pic stand out way more. And that's it. Hopefully you've seen how quickly you can add animations to your Compose apps. For more information on animations in Compose, check out the following links. Right then, I'm off to go move some more pixels around on a screen. See ya.